third quarter. After. On the short ride home from the hospital, there is no jazz music or hoop talk, only brutal silence. The unspoken words, volcanic and weighty. Dad and mom, solemn and wounded. JB, bandaged and hurt, leans against his back seat window, and with less than two feet between us, I feel miles away from all of them. Suspension. Sit down, mom says. Feels like we're in our office. Can I make you a sandwich? But we're in the kitchen. You want a tall glass of orange soda? Mom doesn't ever let us drink soda. Eat up because this may be your last meal. Here it comes. Boys with no self-control become men behind bars. Have you lost your mind, son? No. Did your father and I raise you to be curlish? No. So what's been wrong with you these past few weeks? Put that sandwich down and answer me. I guess I've been just, you've been just what, deranged? Uh, don't, uh, me. Talk like you have some sense. I didn't mean to hurt him. You could have permanently injured your brother. I know, I'm sorry, mom. You're sorry for what? I'm confused, Josh. Make me understand. When did you become a thug? I don't know. I was just a little ang- you are, are you going to get angry every time JB has a girlfriend? It wasn't just that. Then what was it? I'm waiting. I don't know. Okay, well, since you don't know, here's what I know. I just got a little upset. Not good enough. Your behavior was unacceptable. I said I'm sorry. Indeed, you did. But you need to tell your brother, not me. I will. There are always consequences, Josh. Here it comes. Dishes for a week, no phone, or worse, no Sundays at the wreck. Josh, you and JB are growing up. I know. You're twins, not the same person. But that doesn't mean he has to stop loving me. Your brother will always love you, Josh, I guess. Boys with no discipline end up in prison. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Don't you get smart with me and end up in more trouble. Why are you always trying to scare me? We're done. Your dad is waiting for you. Okay, but what are the consequences? You're suspended. From school? From the team. Curlish. Adjective. Having a bad temper and being difficult to work with. As in, I wanted a pair of Stefan Marbury sneakers. Starberries. But dad called him a selfish millionaire with a bad attitude, and why would I want to be associated with such a curlish choke artist? As in, I don't understand how I went from annoyed to grumpy to downright curlish. As in, how do you apologize to your twin brother for being curlish and for almost breaking his nose? This week, I get my report card, make honor roll, watch the team win game nine, volunteer at the library, eat lunch alone five times, avoid Miss Sweet Tea, walk home by myself, Clean the garage during practice. Try to atone day and night. Sit beside JB at dinner. He moves. Tell him a joke. He doesn't even smile. Do his chores. He pays no attention. Say I'm sorry, but he won't listen. Basketball rule number seven. Rebounding is the art of anticipating, of always being prepared to grab it, but you can't drop the ball. The nosebleed section. Our seats are in the clouds, and every time Dad thinks the ref makes a bad call, he rains. All Mom does is pop up like an umbrella, then Dad sits back down. JB's got 19 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. He's on fire, blazing from baseline to baseline. Dad screams, somebody needs to call the fire department because JB's burning this place up. The other team calls a timeout. Dad, JB still won't speak to me, I say. Right now, JB can't see you, son, Dad says. You just have to let the smoke clear, and then he'll be okay. For now, why don't you write him a letter? Good idea, I think. But what should I say, I ask him. By then, Dad is on his feet with the rest of the gym, as JB steals the ball and takes off like a wildfire. Fast break. He's a backcourt baller on a break. A running, gunning, shooting star. 
flying fast. JB's fixing for the glass. Bounce, bounce, ball beside him. Now he's getting flyer and flyer, climbing sky. He nods his head and pumps a fake, explodes the lane. Chris ball, cross ball. Chris and takes the break, kaboom, above the rim. A thunderous almost dunk. That elbow just sent JB ker plunk to the floor. Foul. Storm. Like a strong wind, Dad rises from the clouds, strikes down the stairs, swift and sharp and mad as lightning. Flagrant foul, ref, he yells to everyone in the gym. Now he's hale and blizzard, his face cold and hard as ice, his hands pulsing through the air, his mouth loud as thunder. He tackled JB, this ain't football. Dad roars in the face of the ref while JB and his attacker do the eye dance. I want to join in, offer my squall, but mom shoots me a look that says, stay out of the rain, son. So I just watch as she and coach chase dad's tornado. I watch as she wraps her arms around dad's waist. I watch as she slowly brings him back to wind and cloud. I watch mom take a tissue from her purse to wipe her tears and the sudden onset of blood from dad's nose.